What's going on guys? This is JT here. I'm over here on the Android server on my man Banano, the free-to-plays account. We got 50,000 free-to-play gems. However, we're only going to be hopefully rolling about 20,000 total gems trying to get that silver key from the treasure mining event. Now, if you guys don't know, in my opinion, the best day to spend gems either on iOS or Android, whatever server you're on, is the treasure mining event. And the reason why is because if you do get lucky and actually snatch up that silver key, you get 10 event coins which are very useful in a couple of different events in Castle Clash, especially the discount store. So you want to save up your gems. You want to roll them on treasure mining and try to snatch up that silver key. And no doubt about that. Now, this account is actually 100% free to play. Never purchased anything on this account. Only five total gems. How do you even get five gems there? Like, I don't even know how that's exactly possible. But either way, fully free to play free to play account so what we're going to be doing is mainly rolling heroes but also he wants to get a little bit of accuracy on his dove keeper as well now one thing that bugs me over here on android is these add buttons like why do they just sit there and pop there needs to be a way to turn those add buttons off it's so frustrating just seeing that ad non-stop i don't even know what the ad actually gives like one more attempt at whatever it is but either way it's freaking annoying and i'm not a fan of it one bit by the way my man i like the jt in your base i just noticed that i dig it jt one time all right so let's go ahead and get into his altar i'll quickly show you guys what all we got on this fully free to play account so we got a dove keeper already break through level 14 not bad we also got lazulix anubis we got cosmo walla walla we also got phobos do we have anything new we do got rambard which is very nice to see. We also got Boogeyman on the account, which is good as well. Let's see. What else do we got? Anything else? We got Queen Wasp. That's nice. I actually want Queen Wasp pretty bad on my free-to-play account because her destiny actually... Where, what's her destiny? There's Oh, yeah. Dove Keeper's in her destiny. I need Queen Wasp so I can boost up my Dove Keeper further. That's what I was wondering. I'm like, why do I need Queen Wasp so bad? It's because of the Dove Keeper. You need Queen Wasp to go ahead and boost up that destiny. So I'm really looking eventually to get Queen Wasp on my free-to-play account. No doubt about that. We also got Jump Bear. Let's see. Who else do we got? Do we not have Hotshot on this account? We got Rambard no Hot Shot. Oh, yeah. We do got Hot Shot. There is Hot Shot right there. So hopefully from the event hero card after we get it from that silver key we get something else besides those two heroes so let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the warehouse we do got enough room 30 slots in the warehouse more than enough wow he has 1500 mastery essence threes that's actually quite a bit and 7800 books my goodness eight eight hundred thousand fame as well how much igniting and zenistones does he have with all those books. Okay. So he's been saving a lot of materials, which in my opinion is very smart. It's exactly what I'm doing on my free to play as well. Because when you get some of these new heroes and IGG seems like they're allowing a lot of new heroes to be given out to free to play players, you want to have enough igniting stones, enough Zena stones, and even apex crystals. That way you can go ahead and boost those up because they will, you know what I mean, be the best heroes on your account. Let's go ahead and use this. Because we're definitely going to be rolling some heroes. So why not use one of those bad boys? And the cooldown. Why is the cooldown time 30 minutes? I thought the cooldown time was 20 minutes. It stinks because you can only use one of those at a time. Then you got to wait 30 minutes. So unfortunately, we're only going to be able to use one of those right now. But let's go ahead and get into the trait trait quick. And snatch up. What's his Rambard rolling for traits? He ain't got nothing. Let's go ahead and use one trait on Rambard. Just to go ahead and snatch him up some dodge. Ooh, or crit resist. Crit resist is actually pretty good for Rambard also. Let's just go ahead and stop right there. Let's go into Dove and put accuracy on this dub we got one accuracy right now he already has five attacks we're just gonna roll right over those because honestly in my opinion attack really isn't that great i mean it is good for dove keeper however you'd have to completely run a dodge pet or not a dodge pet sorry a accuracy pet with dove keeper at all times in my opinion accuracy is the way to go for traits on dove keeper all day long that way there's just so many versatile ways you always want your dove keeper to be able to to one shot other heroes in castle clash right because dove keeper does the most damage to a single target out of any hero in castle clash so let's go ahead and snatch up this actually let me make sure we don't have a discount do we have let me make sure we don't have a trait discount was there a trait discount in the warehouse let me just quickly look so discounts are right here and it looks like we do should I use this now or wait? Yeah, we'll go ahead and use it now. Why not? All right, trait changer. Yes, let's go ahead and use this because why not? And let's snatch up some goods for Dove Keeper. All right, come on, baby. We need to see accuracy all day. Come on, accuracy. Show up for the Dove. Where are you at, baby? We need five-star accuracies too. We don't want four-star. We want five-stars. Yeah, so far, no good. <laughs> so far, no good, boys. Come on. Five-star accuracy. Accuracy is not even that hard to roll. Just show up. Yeah, it's so bad. Five star crit, four star dodge. No thank you there. All trash traits. Oh, a lot of five stars and some four stars, but no accuracy, unfortunately. There's a four star attack. No, four star accuracy. Get out of here, man. 
Three star accuracy, not what we're looking for. Come on, I'm feeling the five star right here. Whoop, thank you. Four star accuracy again. Come on, baby. Five star accuracy, ship it, we'll take that. All right, and two five star crits, that's kind of crazy talk. All right, well at least we got one five star accuracy. Let's keep on rolling. Come on, we need more five star accuracies. Put them on the board, baby. Three star accuracy, no bueno. There's a five star accuracy, and we got a five star attack as well. But let's just roll a couple more and try to get a five star accuracy. Another one, another one. Show it to me, baby. What do we got? Four star accuracy? Mmm, gotta roll over that, sorry. Come on, five star, another four star accuracy. Back to back on them. Make it a five star, will ya? And three star accuracy, ugh, no good there. Come on, man, we need to see five stars. Five star accuracy, where you at? There we go, baby. You love to see that. And we got a four star attack and four star crit resist. Crit resist is absolutely useless, but I think I'm just going to leave this here. That way we're not spending all that many gems on traits, especially for just one hero in this situation. Let me go ahead and check out his wallet. His wallet doesn't have any dodge. Let's roll a couple traits on wallet as well, just to see if we can get a five star dodge. I was feeling lucky with five star dodge. Look at there. It shows up right away. Go ahead and give me another one. And no five star dodge there. And how about a five star dodge? Five star accuracy shows up, of course. Two star dodge. All right, come on. Five star dodge, please. Bunch of attacks. Those are useless for Walla Walla. And let's roll a couple more. Two five star crits. Make those dodges, baby. Come on. One more five star dodge and I'll call it a day. We got a five star HP, which I might should have kept. Two, a five star and a four star accuracy. There's a four star dodge. All right, fine. I'll just leave that there just because I don't want to spend a ton of gems on traits, but I do want to roll over. Actually, you know what? That rainbow actually looks okay. I'll leave that as is. How about the Phobos? Uh, that's absolutely terrible. Let's go ahead and roll a couple of dodges on Phobos. We'll go ahead and keep, actually, we'll just keep all this on Phobos. That's actually not a bad roll for one, one single 150. How about Lazulix? And Lazulix needs dodge as well and other traits. So we'll go ahead and roll once on Lazulix and we'll keep that as is. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of these pets because they are unlucky. And let's go ahead and snatch up the heroes. Now he needs quite a bit of the new heroes and we do have the hero discount. Okay, it's already activated. That's right. All right, Trump Storage, yes. How about we get the first legend as something new? Rune Master specifically? Come on. Oh, it's going to be Orcs Bane, boys. Come on. Storm Eater? I don't think you need Storm Eater on this account. Come on. Show me Rune Master one time. Come on. A Trintar? That's terrible. A Dove Keeper? Doesn't need Dove Keeper, but that would be a nice legend if he did. Come on, baby. Rune Master us up. Where you at, Rune Master? Crystal Wraith. I do not think he needs Crystal Wraith. Let's go ahead and roll. Let's go ahead and roll one more legend after that decent. Atlanticor. I don't think we can end it on a shard legend, but I did want to get into the event to make sure we didn't. Oh, Phantom King and Snowzilla. All right, let's close out and come back in. I'm feeling something special coming right here. Come on. How about a Rune Master? Come on, Rune. Come on, Rune Master. Come on, baby. Come on. All right, fine. I'm going to stop there. We spent 17,000 gems. That is my lucky number. Let's get into the treasure mining and see if we can snatch up a silver and gold key. We got a castle chest two, another castle chest two. All right, we'll do five X's, a couple five X's down to 20 and then we'll start doing solos. Come on, silver key is what we're looking for, baby. Bunch of castle chests, so that's helpful. A bronze key, all right, so we snatched up one of the keys. Come on, we need silver key. What do we got there? Just a bunch of castle chests, okay. Silver key, no love. All right, let's go ahead and collect all this because it's very important to have everything on the free to play, especially all these chests. And let's go ahead and get back into the mining. Come on, baby, give me silver key right here. Silver key. Silver key! That's what you like to see, baby! Nice! Alright, so now we need a gold key. Come on, baby. Gold key us up. Um, should I do solos? I'll do five solos and then I'll start doing five X's. Because actually I got a gold key from 5X last time. So let's go ahead and go back to the five X's. Come on, gold key, please. Gold key for the free-to-play. Give me that 200 extra dust. Come on, baby. Gold key! What is that? Bunch of junk. Alright, so no gold key, unfortunately, but we did get two things that are very helpful. We got the igniting stones plus the Valentine boxes. Plus we also got the 400 pet snacks, the 10 event coins, what we were mainly looking for, plus that hero event card. So let's go ahead and open up that hero event card right quick. See what we got going down from this hero event card. 10 coins, man. This event is just so sexy, man. I like it so much. It's so nice, boys. It's perf. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the warehouse from gift pack. Man, just so many chests. Like everything you get from this is just so nice. I love it. I like it a lot. All right, so the two hero cards. Can we get Rune Master from this? No, we cannot. He might need Ashura, maybe. I don't know. Give me Ashura. Give me Cosmo. A Ripper? Actually, does he not have Ripper? Let's see. Hmm. Let's go ahead and open up the Ripper. Does he have Ripper? Yes or no? 
I don't think I saw Ripper in the warehouse. I mean, in the altar. Let's see. Any Ripper. If not, I mean, that's a sick roll because Ripper's an absolute beast for this freedom. Oh, baby. That's no Ripper, boys. I do look over heroes quite a bit. Let me just double check. No Ripper, huh? No Ripper anywhere to be found. That's a good roll right there. We'll take the Ripper, boys. Mainly the thing we wanted the most was the event coins, and we snatched that up. So let's go ahead and open up this event hero card. Now, he already has Hotshot, and he has Rambark. We need to see something else. Come on, give me the Saint, give me the Fox, or give me the Bloody Mary. Is this a little tin bag? Oh, let's open up. Oh, wait, no, that ain't a little. Did I? I thought I saw a little tin bag. No, I did. I just saw a bunch of these bags. Okay, so no actual insignia bags anywhere. What is this, Legendary? Oh, he did complain about this. He said, JT, bro, can you please tell everybody on, or just in case anybody from IGG is watching, that the Android rewards do need to be updated a little bit because I can't find any level 5 insignias from Lost Realm. But I'm not sure if he's wrong by that. Maybe he just hasn't ran enough Lost Realm because I'm pretty sure iOS has level 4s as well, and you just eventually got to get lucky to get the level 5s. All right, so let's go ahead and open up this event. Hero card. Come on, baby. Something else besides Hot Shot and Rambard. Something else. What do we got? Come on. Oh, hot shot again. It's always hot shot, man. It's always hot shot, boys. Anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. I am out of here for now. Peace out, fellas. Hey, guys, if y'all like this video, make sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button. Also, if you really liked it, join the notification squad and click that bell button as well. One time.